back with what is incorrect and what has changed and the sort of pushing back and forth that's been occurring is clearly a sign of learning as well. Mm -hmm. Is that something you do in that situation or are you guys pretty comfortable when it comes to those situations? Um, yeah, luckily enough, we've been in those situations a couple times now, so we, we've kind of figured out a way to do that. Um, I, I made the one bad decision, kind of trying to make the throw to Pringle there, um, and they played it well. But other than that, I thought we ran the ball well when we needed to run the ball um, and, and made plays happen. And, and at the end of games, it, it comes down to that. When the defense is playing like, like they're playing, to grind out drives at the end of the game to kind of kill the clock down, um, those are big drives that, that you'll need at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he rolled, man. I mean, that was a good defensive front, a good defense, and he was finding little little creases here and there to, 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 to make some stuff happen. And uh, I thought the offensive line did a great job uh, getting, them, getting them those windows. And so uh, they, he'll keep incorporating them more and more, and, I mean, he, he looked healthy. So, I mean, he's glad to have him back. So hopefully we can find a way to throw him some passes too because he's, he's pretty good out of the back foot as well. Yeah, I mean, he's a special player. I mean... Uh, I mean, to be that good of a linebacker and then be able to play defensive end, there's not a lot of guys like that in this league. And uh, he, he, he has a high motor. I mean, chasing down on that sack um, and then a, a strip sack. And then, he, he, I mean, the whole game, he was in there the whole time battling and battling. And uh, like I said, they have great players in that defense. And I thought our guys did a great job, especially early. And then we battled through at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, I think the last, I mean, ever since pretty much the second half of the Tennessee game, those guys have been playing better. Um, we It got lost because the offense wasn't playing very well, that we were winning games because of the defense, and so people are so used to our offense kind of going out there and putting up these numbers. Um, but I would say it every week when I was right here at the podium, like, you get, don't lose how good our defense is playing. And to go up against an offense like that, um, that has put up so many yards, so many scores and touchdowns, and then to shut it down. I mean, that that's impressive. And so for us as offense, when you get in, when you get in these kind of funks that we kind of did in that second half, we know if we just can just grind it out, get field goals, try to find a way to get a touchdown, then we're going to win the football game. It's a heck of a stat. Um, I didn't know that, but I mean, it, it's part of the game. I've been lucky enough that I've had these turnover-worthy plays that I haven't got picked off too. So uh, uh, I think you just go out, you go and play. If the interception happens, uh, you move on to the next play, and that's how I've always rolled. And I'm gonna keep firing. I mean, when you're firing to a guy like Travis Kelsey, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't drop the football. I mean, I, I, if I put the ball a little bit out in front of him, he probably makes that catch and splits a couple people. So uh, it, it's a, it's a combination of two things: it's me not putting it in the right spot, and then it just getting unlucky there at the end. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited about it because we're still not playing our best football, and we're we're sitting here seven and four, um, at least a half game up on on the uh, AFC West. Um, and, and you go into the bye week knowing you're going to play a lot of divisional uh, opponents coming up. Um, so everything's right in front of us. Um, we can be better, especially offensively. The defense can continue to get better and better each and every week. Um, and to be where we started, to where we're at now, um, and still not even playing our best football, um, I would take that every time. Yeah, I mean, he's like the quietest guy, so I don't know how – how he ended up saying something that that got him in trouble, but uh, you, I mean, you, you you have to kind of teach him that you can't. I mean, if you're going to say something, say it under your breath at least. Don't let don't let the anyone hear it. Um, but uh, you love having the mentality that he has. That he wants to be great. He wants to continue to be. He was more. I think he's probably mad at himself as much as he was mad at anything else. Um, and so um, for for him, he'll learn from that. I mean, I, I highly doubt it happens again. But I mean, I want him finishing every single play and playing the way he's played this entire season. Not, not necessarily. I mean, we just kind of put it – we're just going to take it week by week. Um, we're going to get better and better each and every week this year. Um, we lost some games close early that we, we probably should have won if we had to find a ways to finish. Um, and then we, we took, took some big lumps and, and had some big losses that we don't usually have here. But I think you have those leaders in this room that we, we kind of went back to the drawing board, went back to the fundamentals, um, and decided to take it week by week, go through the process, trust in the coaching staff, and, and we're sitting here now with uh, everything in front of us. So we just got to keep that same mindset.
side back there. Look, go take a see that play with the old school eye in your head. Those slides. Yeah, he was. He so he wasn't excited. He was very ups, he was very upset at first. <laughs> and he got over there, and we had already talked to Clyde. I mean, obviously Clyde knew that he probably shouldn't have done it, and they're really it's really high of emphasis on the taunting right now. And he came over there, and we'd already talked to Clyde. Clyde knew, and so he started getting mad, and then we started hyping him up, and, and it, it made him start laughing. And it's hard to break him. It's hard to break with him even whenever he's in that mood. But uh, it kind of, kind of, it's kind of what we do, man. We just, we all, we all love each other and want to be better together. Hey, before the game, I saw you down there in the game. You guys are watching red zone, right? It's up on the jumbotron. You're seeing these scores happen around the league. What does that do for you before the game to look up if you see these teams in the top of their division struggling? Yeah, I mean, I think that's been this entire season. I mean, there's been a lot of ups and downs for everybody. Um, and so we we know that we have to go in with the mindset every single week of we have to be our best. And if we're not our best, we have to find a way to, to continue to get better and try to find a way to get a win. I think you've seen that this season. We've had games where we've put up a lot of points and played really good. We've had games that we haven't, and we still found a way to get a win. Um, and it's, a, it's a team game in this sport, and it's not the same as it's been these last few years. Um, but when you play as a team and you find a way to win these tough, tough, adverse games, um, I mean, that's when you have those special teams, and I'm excited for the, the rest of the season. Uh, Coach, you, in, uh, Patrick, you mentioned you, you want to improve the offense and whatever you have to divide it. In what ways do you think you guys will continue to get better in these final stretch of the season? Yeah, I think when you get in those third medium areas where the teams are kind of playing that man, thief coverage, uh, just finding uh, ways to, to beat that. I mean, most a lot of teams are playing it to us. So we have to be better there. Uh, we kind of stop the self-inflicted wounds, if it's the holding or if it's the interceptions or the fumbles or whatever that is. Um, w whenever we don't have those, we usually drive the ball and, and score or at least get in range to, to kick a field goal. So um, just execution on that part. Um, and then uh, finding ways to, to, to beat, uh, beat, beat some coverages that have kind of given us some funks here and there uh, throughout the season. But uh, at least you know what they're going to play, so you can try to find a ways during this bye week. Yeah, I mean, we still there's still a long ways to go. Um, obviously, I knew we were never broken as a team. We have too many good players, too many, too many special guys on this team that, that go through the process, uh, even even when they're bad times or good times. Um, but uh, we're still early in the season. I mean, I know we've kind of gotten to that second half, but our goal is to to be to be on top at the end of the season. It's not to to win the regular season, but you have to go through that process of every single day of being better, winning that week. To, to be a great team, and um, I think uh, we're going to try to do that, and uh, at the end of the year, we'll figure out what we need to say then.